In this video, we're going to have a look at simple interest. Simple interest means that interest is only calculated on the amount originally borrowed or invested. When you open an account, a specific interest rate is offered to you. In grade 9, we work with interest rates that are calculated annually. When working with simple interest, there are two formulas that you can use in your calculations. The first formula determines the amount of simple interest that you received. In this formula, P is for your present value or starting amount, N is the number of periods, and I is your interest rate divided by 100. This formula takes the original amount or starting value and multiplies it with the interest rate to determine the interest for one year, and then multiplies that value by the number of years to determine the total amount of interest received. Example 1. Liam invests 17,000 Rand at a simple interest rate of 7% per annum for 3 years. How much interest will Liam earn in 3 years? We want to determine the amount of interest received and that means we can use our given formula. We were given that the starting value was 17,000 Rand at an interest rate, the I, of 7% and the number of periods will be 3 years. So when substituting, the P value is 17,000 Rand that earns interest for 3 years at a rate of 7%, which is 7 over 100. When you do this calculation, you will get an interest amount of 3,570 Rand. And even though this was not asked, it is good to realize that Liam started with 17,000 Rand and he earned an interest of 3,570 Rand. That means his account is now worth 20,570 Rand. Our second formula will directly calculate this amount. In this formula, P, I and N still represent the same values, but A now represents the final amount. The final amount of course now consists of the starting amount and all the interest received. And when I substitute the formula for the interest received, and do factorization, which you will be taught later this year, you will see where this formula comes from. In example 2, we still get the same information as in example 1, but the question is now different. Liam still invests 17,000 Rand at a simple interest rate of 7%, and the question is now, how much money will you have in this account at the end of 3 years? So now we will use the second formula to determine the final amount in this account. So now we can substitute what we have. P is 17,000 Rand and then we have 1 that is part of the formula plus the interest rate which is 7 over 100 which you can of course also choose to write as a decimal in the form 0,07 and this is then multiplied by 3 years. With this formula, you will immediately get the final value of 20,570 Rand. Example 3. John borrows an amount of money that he will pay back in 4 years time along with simple interest of 11% per annum. If John has to pay 129,600 Rand at the end of the four years, how much did he borrow originally? Firstly, we need to start off to determine what information was given. Here, an amount was borrowed and that is our p-value that we then need to determine. Next, they say it will be paid back in four years, which will be our n-value. The interest rate is given as 11% per annum, which is the I value, and he needs to pay back 129,600 Rand, which is 
the amount plus all the interest, so that is the A value. We have the A value, so I'm going to use the second formula. Substituting our A value is 129,600. The P value is what we want to determine. Then we have 1 plus our interest rate of 11 over 100, and this is for 4 years. Now you need to make use of algebra to solve the value of P. P is multiplied to this whole bracket on the right. So if I want to get P alone on the right, I need to take the left hand side and divide by that whole bracket. When you do this calculation, you will see that the starting amount that he borrowed was 90,000 Rand. When putting this in on your calculator, I want all of it at once. So I want to start with a fraction so that I can put the whole bracket in the denominator. So I have one plus and then I need another fraction of 11 over 100. So I move down into the denominator to put the 100 in. Then move out from under the denominator to times by 4. This will give me my 90,000 Rand. Example 4. Louise invests 4,000 Rand and earns simple interest. After 5 years, the account has grown to 5,800 Rand. Determine the interest rate that she received per year. So here we were given the starting amount of 4,000 Rand as well as the final amount of 5,800 Rand. We were also given the number of years. This will all be substituted into the second formula because we were given the final amount. The A value is 5,800 Rand. P was given as 4,000 Rand. And then we have one which is part of the formula plus I the interest rate that we want to calculate multiplied by 5. Because we want to solve i, which is inside the bracket, we need to start off by getting rid of everything on the outside of the bracket. So to get rid of the 4000 Rand on the right hand side, I'm going to divide by 4000 on the left hand side. Now the bracket on the right hand side is not necessary anymore because all that's left is what's inside the bracket. That is 1 plus i times 5, or 5i. After simplification, the left-hand side is 29 over 20. And next, I want to get rid of the plus 1 on the right, so I will subtract 1 on the left-hand side. On the right, I then have 5i. And then to finally get i on its own, I need to take everything on the left-hand side without rounding this value and divide it by 5. Determining this on your calculator will give you a value of 0, 0,09. This decimal value should now be written as a percentage and to do that I need to take this 0, 0,09 and multiply it by 100. The final interest rate is then 9% per year.